rapturous applause in Kosovo's parliament as it votes to form a new army for the country. Having carried out only civil security operations up to this point, the Kosovo Security Force, as it is known, is now entrusted with defending the country's territory. This is a historic agreement for us and well-deserved. Kosovo has its own army and a state that is every day being further consolidated and strengthened. The Kosovo army will be multi-ethnic and professional in service of all citizens for peace in Kosovo, the region and wherever it is needed. Some Kosovans celebrated the news on the streets of the capital, Pristina. It's enormously emotional. We're happy that the creation of our country is being completed. It's a big step for Kosovo. We will secure our own state. The legislation is backed by the United States, who have steadfastly supported the country for more than 20 years. On the Serbian side, though, the vote comes as bad news. As it will in Mitrovica, a divided town in the north of Kosovo, where there is a significant Kosovan Serbian community. Belgrade denounced the decision. Neighboring Serbia still do not recognize the independence of Kosovo declared in 2008. This is a very difficult day for me. It will not help the stability of the region. We will continue down the road of peace, stability and prosperity for all citizens of Serbia and the region. I firmly believe that Serbia cannot be stable in an unstable region, and we should talk about making a better future. Since the end of the war between Serbian forces and Kosovan separatist rebels in 1999, Kosovo's security has been ensured by an international force led by NATO, the KFOR. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg, however, said on Friday that he regretted the vote, stating that he will now re-examine NATO's level of engagement with the KSF.